here. This will be a touchback, and it comes right, out to the 25-yard line. On first and ten, it's Ryan. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he enters, because he can hit Julio Jones in a short zone, and he can take it the whole way. And this is incomplete. Let's face it, perfect. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin oh. Coleman. Shit. And That's he's going to be gosh. taken. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. Mm. And again, the rest of a lot of guys. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones. 67 yards. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envision to get the football to start the game. Whoa! Get, the get the fuck out of here. Boy. <laughs> this might be a good game. This is taken about seven yards deep. And it is. On play action, it's Wentz. They jump off underneath to a Johnny. Just down a touchdown, you know. I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams Woo. that when they get down, their natural tendency is to Who's that, bro? Dad plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And he'll get it in seven. Again, they'll throw with wins. Try to drop one in, but it's in. Wins to throw again. Drops it off to Ajayi. Give him two yards on that play. And that's going to make no it huddle. fourth down. No, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They do go for it. It's Wins. A surprising move here on the opening. Enough of these meetings along the way. Sometimes they're so confident in a play call that they don't care about the situation. They think the damage to pick up. Head scratcher. They'll run it now out of the gun. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Offensive line. Great job. Keep it up. And we'll break that one soon. He's got some. And he will have the... I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range. Interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. And he will lose yardage here back. Didn't go that way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. It's caught. Jones. And able to get him down, but he does risk. No matter what they do, they feel like they can't stop him. They'll run here with Freeman. And there is nowhere for him. Ryan. In a heavy Good traffic, shit, and it's man. intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. And Good he takes shit. this one back into the end zone and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD now that was a beautiful play a pick six how would you punctuate something like that partner what do you mean with an exclamation mark exclamation mark a big word what would you do with that ampersand uh, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air and no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken team maybe get them back into the ball game or into the lead in these situations i remember playing with him once damn it where he actually man. ran out onto the field first four down, four down. Check out. a fake to freeman now it's ryan he goes underneath to freeman in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field they'll run it now out of the gun <laughs> Yeah, give him four yards. Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. Freeman with a fast feet. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the floor. 
They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He'll get tight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the... Sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know. And go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. And better at it all the time. Really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 50. Now a play fake here on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. In Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Here's Ryan. He finds Coleman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Tevin Coleman from 10 yards out. And the Falcons are in for six. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the pass? Sometimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. <coughs> and no run back. Many times have we sat in meetings with coaches, and they use the term complimentary football. <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen. Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. They've got his man complete. That goes for a gain of... Fighting his way down to about the 35. On second down, here's Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be brought down at the 20. Wentz now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Great footwork, but still wrangled down before reaching the 20. Now the Eagles will use the second. Now Wentz. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. They fake the give. Now Wentz. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roll. And a kick by Elliott is good. A dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Now, on second down, Ryan. And he will find Ridley on the left side. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Ryan now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Final play of the half, it's Ryan. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. You sure you're ready for the third quarter? Need to use a bathroom or anything? All right, cool, let's go. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll bring up a second down. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw, it's Wentz. Jeffrey with a catch left side. A very solid gain of 27. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Mm -hmm. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. They'll wind up losing 11 on the play, and it'll be a second and long. The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful, and now they have to deal with second and very long. 82, 82. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Now wins. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. Going no for no four for 21. Defender to gain some ground, right. come from a long distance, let's go, let's go. and have a chance to affect the pass. Run, run. Here we go on fourth down with wins. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on it for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On the screen, this is Coleman. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part. Man. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? That good for 22 on a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. <laughs> and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Eric Silver from 10 yards out, and the Falcons will extend their lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker, sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. 
Yeah, the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made and that just means he's got a man complete and they finally do get him but not before he reaches the 27. Wentz fighting his favorite receiver Jeffrey on a big one 54 yards. Well, it's one thing to grab it with one hand, but when you make a catch of that distance, quite another. Yes, sir. I mean, that one right there, we keep talking about the high-flying antics that we're seeing from receivers nowadays. Doesn't matter what spot they start in, but when it actually does happen in the heat of battle, it brings me right out of my seat. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now, Wentz again. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. A man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Now Wentz on third down. And he connects with Ertz. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back. Again, it's Wins. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll run it now out of the gun. He's got room to run past the 20. Going good, I'm quick. his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Brian Sachs for point up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be taken down here on the road being the final play of this third quarter. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, 
that does him no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. From the 21, it's second and 10. Wentz will try again on second down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. <coughs> so a change of possession here on the punt. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, this is by Thema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Ryan swings it out to the flat for Freeman. Give him six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Well, that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turn to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll run it now out of the gun. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tevin Coleman, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Bryant tacks on the extra point. So he's in for his third score of the game. And defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field, and that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one, but 
Let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Give him 30 yards there. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and lead the game out that way. Wins the throw on second down. Open man left side is Wallace complete. The hell running right through it. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The first down for the Eagles wins finding the former Raven Wallace. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes it. And this is caught. They give him a gain of 37. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred. Still confident to go deep at work there. Well, I think all the old rules he about is from playing the that SEC, position still so. apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions? <laughs> Team to victory. <coughs> now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Ram, ram, ram. Go, go. Well, again, they'll throw with wins. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time that. defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up that third one? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Great, great. Wentz now on third and goal. Got a man open. Oh, it's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz there to make the grab. And the Eagles get a score closer. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start. But now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball. Getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You get out of the football back for your offense. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. 
They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Now it's Ryan. Looking deep. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Usually hitting a deep post pattern, as we just saw there for a big gainer, that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up, wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping. Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run oh. through. Oh. <laughs> and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. This is Freeman on first and 10. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. On second down, Freeman. Oh. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman from 17 yards out. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. <laughs> but the virtual that. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. But in that case, run it up. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's they get out of here and do something. So they got his man complete. That the Eagles going to take the first the of their timeouts game. as they get it with just the 19 seconds left on the clock. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Huh? On first down, wins. Ain't gonna happen twice, dog. Complete. Down to 15 seconds now. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was gonna be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there. <laughs> At least not he twice in the road. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Once again here on second and 10. He's gonna oh, run hell no. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Try to get it all back with one big shot right there, but even if successful, that doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be. Can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well. On play action, wins. has it. Yo, he caught that. To about the 20-yard line, and they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them.
working on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.